Hello, welcome to the channel. Napoleon was a military genius, and what made him so successful, aside from being short and the tight pants, of course, was his military strategies. He mastered the art of breaking enemies into parts and defeating them one by one. This method is called divide and conquer, but is this just brilliant tactics or is there a deeper mathematical principle behind it? That's what I will show. Happy International Mathematics Day and let's start. Let's consider two armies and we will refer to them as the Blue Army and the Red Army. We use colors just to make it easy to distinguish them. Since the number of soldiers will depend on time, we can consider a function BT which represents the number of Blue Army soldiers at time T. And RT will represent the number of Red Army soldiers at time T. And here is my question. How does RT relate to BT? The answer is yes. And the simplest way to represent it is by the Lanchester combat model. Don't be afraid. I'll explain the equation and the reasoning behind it. And we will not solve the equation. We will use a very basic trick to analyze it. We start with these constants. Small b is the fighting effectiveness of the Blue Army. We also call it the attrition rate. And small r is the fighting effectiveness or the attrition rate of the Red Army. Let's explain the idea behind this system of equations. First of all, the derivative of r is basically the rate of change of the number of the Red Army soldiers. Since there are going to be casualties, the function r is going to be decreasing, so its derivative is going to be negative. If there are more blue soldiers, the rate of decrease of the red army soldiers is going to be larger, so the rate of decrease is going to be proportional to b. And we can see that if the constant small b is larger, then the rate of decrease of the red army is going to be larger, so we can think of small b as the fighting effectiveness of the blue army. Because the larger it is, the worse is going to be for the red army. Same thing for b prime. The rate of change of the number of blue army soldiers, it will be negative, because there will be casualties, and it will be proportional to r, and small r is going to represent the fighting effectiveness of the Red Army. One of the basic results concerning this model is the Lanchester Square Law, which states that the following expression remains constant for all t. How do we show that? Well, it's a function, so it suffices to prove that its derivative is zero. We differentiate, and replace the derivative from the model, and voila. Since this expression is constant, and if we suppose that R0 is the initial number of Red Army soldiers, that is the number of Red Army soldiers at the start of the battle, and B0 is the initial number of Blue Army soldiers, then our expression, which is constant for all t, will equal the same expression but at time t equals zero. Beautiful. Now we are ready to make our main comparison. We let these equations here because we will use them and we will consider the following case. The initial number of red army soldiers is double that of the blue army soldiers. That is r0 is equal to times b0. And the fighting effectiveness of the blue army is triple that of the red army. So small b equals three times small r. Who wins the battle in this case? We bring back our expression, and when we replace the values, we find that the expression is positive. And since it's positive, it's the red army that wins, and the blue loses. If you ask why, well, I remind you that both the armies are going to decrease in numbers, and the first one that reaches zero will lose. We can see that R 
can't reach zero because that will mean that the value of the left hand side is negative but we know it should be positive so it's b that will reach zero first so in this first case it's the red army that wins for the second case we will leave everything as it is but we will divide the red army into two equal parts and there will be two consecutive battles first is between the first half of the red army and the blue army and if the blue army wins uh, there will be a second battle with the second half of the red army let's see the result of the first phase r0 equals b0 and we bring back our expression and find that it's negative using the same argument as before b can't equal zero so it's r that will reach zero first so blue wins against the first health and to find the number of soldiers that remain after phase one we plug in r equals zero and solve for b and we will find b1 which is the remaining blue forces in the second phase the initial number of red army forces is b0 which is the second half and the initial number for the blue army is b1 which is the remaining forces from phase one when we redo the calculation we see that the expression is also negative that means r reaches zero first so it's the red army that loses so we see that when the red army fights as a group it wins but when it was divided it lost it's even worse because the number of soldiers remaining when it wins is 50 percent but when it's divided it loses and 60 percent of the blue army soldiers remain we can confirm this using a python simulation even though we don't have to we see that in the first case the red army starts with double the number of soldiers and b reaches zero first so the reds win in the second case there are two phases the first phase blue wins because r reaches zero first and the second battle begins and it also ends with the reds losing i will leave the code in the description you can execute it online and i will leave some other resources please like and subscribe and tell me if you like these kinds of videos in the comments till the next time